you may have seen a couple of years ago a exchange between Jordan Peterson and Kathy Newman I think it was a British TV somewhere and part of the exchange dealt with her trying to say that Jordan you don't have a right to say what you say because by saying that you might offend somebody and that's wrong you don't have the right to do that don't use your free speech to offend somebody and that's what she's doing to him right so in effect I've noticed and the question I want to ask is how is she exempting herself from her own theory right she's saying you ought not use your free speech to offend people and yet she's potentially offending him by saying hey how come you're mouthing off about transgenders doesn't that offend people right so I've noticed that quite frequently atheists and leftists often exempt themselves from their own theories right they say don't judge and then they wind up doing what they're judging you don't impose your values what do they wind up doing they're imposing their values right so this happens all the time how by the way is she also stealing from God we covered this five years ago in here from our book stealing from God what is she stealing from God to basically say Jordan Peterson is wrong yes yeah, she's she's stealing a standard of morality to say that to use your free speech in such a way that someone is offended is immoral where's she getting that standard from this is a problem in fact I asked Neil on the podcast Neil Shenvey on the podcast this week how do critical theorists ground their theory of morality because they have all sorts of these moral categories you're supposed to do this and you're not supposed to do this where does this come from he said well they, they don't have they they don't reason from abstract to the practical they as we've already seen ignore reason or by or uh, demote reason over experience so they're not trying to justify what they say they're just making assertions and you have to agree with them or you're going to get hurt